Hey gamers, what's up? Today's video is on exit lag, no ping, what the fast, and sprint. Do they actually work? I have a different webcam and microphone today which play into the video. I'm out here at the lake and I actually am using no ping to improve my gaming performance quite substantially. So uh, I'll give you a demo of how this affects me personally. I'll just load up a practice tool. Okay, so currently we don't have any uh, special tool running. I'm at about 81 ping. This is about normal for me uh, without running any additional software, about 81 ping here. Okay, so now I have exit lag running um, and I have it just set up normally for League of Legends. It auto detected the game, so I'll just load up another practice tool. Okay, now we're more at about 61, so I've lowered my ping by 22, 21, uh, just by opening up this program, right? Okay, so how does this work, right? I don't understand. I open up a program and I lower my ping by 20. For most people, you're probably not going to be lowering your ping by 20. Most people live in high-density urban areas. I'm talking like uh, New York City, Los Angeles, you know, where a lot of people are. These kinds of programs are most useful for places with unoptimized routing. So uh, this is your game. And then this is the internet, right? This is the iNet. And then League of Legends servers are over here by Kanye's house in Chicago. So what is happening without one of these programs for me personally, the way that it works, right? So without it, Here's me, I'm going to this, my first hop on my uh, ISP. Then maybe I'm going here, and then here, and then here, and then here. The fewer routers that you're going through, one of these is a router, right, in the diagram. Uh, the fewer routers that you're going through, the less latency you're going to get. Each hop that you go through, your packet needs to get transferred onto the chain. And just geographically too, like this could be uh, a suboptimal path, right? Like the slow, uh, you could have been taken the freeway, but instead you rode down a bunch of residential streets, right? The reason why these things are free too, uh, to free trial for like a week or something, is because it's not gonna be useful for everybody. So if you think maybe, you know, you're at about 80, 90, 100 ping, and you wanna see if you could get optimized routing from one of these things, try them all out, each of them, because they're all gonna have different routing. Uh, see which one works best for you, but you could visualize this graph by using a, a program like Ping Plotter or Traceroute to actually see where the traffic is going. Another nice thing about these programs too is that they're only routing the game traffic. Most of the time uh, the games run on like a known port, so it can just forward traffic that's on port, you know, 5000 or something instead of routing your entire internet through uh, through the VPN, which is also really useful because it'll prevent other things from being slowed down, like uh, high bandwidth operations, like if you're streaming or something. So overall, do programs like this work? Yes, in certain situations. I would recommend downloading the free trial of, of any of these if you're really trying to improve your, your ping performance. I don't think FPS boost in any of these is actually going to be really beneficial for you. You could do all of the tweaks that one of these offer without having it running and that would probably be even faster. As for routing, it makes sense that it's a subscription-based service. You're paying for bandwidth, you're paying for using their network infrastructure. Uh, so if you can knock off 20 milliseconds from your delay, like uh, people pay hundreds of dollars for a gaming monitor that has one millisecond response time, if you could knock 20 milliseconds response time off your gaming monitor, that would be pretty crazy. So uh, for however much it is a month for me, like $3 or something, uh, this is a really beneficial piece of software for me out here at the lake. So I, I don't use this when I'm back in the city uh, because it's not actually useful there, but out here it makes a pretty massive difference. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Peace.